Hello. How's it going? I'm back doing videos. I know for you, it doesn't feel like much of a different. I maybe I've been trying to keep to a schedule of uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays, but as you see on this video, it's uploaded on a Monday. Um, the reason for that is I've just not had the best weekend and I couldn't really get around to editing and the videos I'd had planned to edit for those, I just don't feel are relatable anymore. Like I, I can't edit something that's I, it's not fresh in my mind, so I've not I'm going to scrap those videos. So I'll catch you up a little bit now. Um the area looks a bit different from when you last saw it, so I'll just quickly flip you around. There's a shed. I don't know if I've shown that before, I don't know, but there's a shed now. <laughs> um, it's a bit dirty, I need to clean up because we're not done inside, so there's no point cleaning up until we've finished making a mess. But I'll have a quick show of that. Basically, this will be used as like the main working area, um, and there's a light, but it needs to sort it out. Um, so I can just warm up this area instead of having to warm up the whole area in the winter. So it keeps electricity and savings down. So there's a new table put in. We do plan, like, the shed's up and ready to go. I can work from here, but it'll be cold still because there's no insulation. We've filled in all the gaps the best we can. Still need to get some more foam just to fill in some gaps. Uh, but we plan to put a load of, as you can see, um, insulation board just all around. Um, but I don't really fancy on paying up for it. I'm not in really in a rush to work in here yet because I've got so much stuff to do otherwise. So we're just getting it as we find it for cheap. Um, but yeah, other changes. I've moved the shelf from here and put all the big stuff that is not organised into a system onto that shelf so that can be worked through. You would have seen on Kieran's video already that's uploaded. But maybe not James's yet. I don't know if James has put his up by the time I put mine up. They came to my warehouse and James come to drop all this off. Now, some of this I've already started working through, but basically it's all consignment of uh, stuff that I will work 50-50 after James. Work 50-50 after fees, tax, posted, all that with James. Um, bit, bit if you watch Ricky Resell, that kind of model. Um... It works good for me at the moment because car boots are off and I'm not really in a stock buying mood while I'm moving so it's just handy to have stock coming in and it's free and it's cash flow which is handy for me. Um, some more changes which I will get into a bit later but sneak preview with my new system. Not done it yet but I'm working on it. Um, but I think I'd use the rest of this video I'll just quickly, I'm, I'm just, it's a Monday, so I'm just working through my orders at the moment, and, there you go. oh, never mind, but there was £933 for 60-something orders, so, I'm not any stretch of the imagination, if I want to do what I want to do the rest of the video, I'm not going to show you all these, like, break them down, I'll do it more in another video, people have asked me to do it, so. There you go. That's all the stuff that's going out today. That's game related. I've got bigger stuff. But let me just flip. But I think once I've done that, I'll come back to you, and I think I'll answer some of your questions that have been asked. Has so many questions have been asked, and I think I'll just go through them with you. I'll see you. In, see you in a second. The next day. Okay. Second part of the video. As you probably tell them, my clothes. It's another day. Um, my mind's all over the place, so I can't really help it. I've just got so much stuff in my hand. As you probably can see down there, maybe a bit to the side. The dog's here, and the disc is going, so it might be a bit loud, but I can't really help it. I've got work to do. Um, so, might have hinted at the start of this video, but I'm going to do some QA stuff. So, hopefully, I can hit as many people's questions as possible and clear up some stuff that people have been asking. Like, I get the same questions a lot and already. <laughs> Which, I've got to say, been just under a month, and I've ate just, just today, Tuesday, whenever it is, 16th, just hit 800 subscribers, which I can't thank you enough. Um, it's great. Thank you very much. So, let's get on with it. Uh, I'm going to look down here, because my laptop's down here. So, after being interrupted by my dog, uh, first question, 
Uh, Stretch Oxford asks a few questions. Um, what? How would be great to see how well you sort your games? Um, I've got into that a bit um, in a video two months ago. T not two months. Two videos ago. I went all about it. Um, watch that video. But there will be more obviously coming. You've just got to keep tuned. I'll, 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 I'll show where I get all my stuff from. Um, how and saw what profit margins um, and hints of tips. So, profit margin, it very much depends on what it is. Obviously, I'm buying games and all that stuff, but I buy against the CEX market for something. So, what they. I, I normally buy between the cash and voucher price, and I know if I'm buying between that, I can make money on it. And sometimes. Like for say a Switch game, Switch games are very high turnover, quick selling games. I won't even double up on that. But say if it's a really obscure PS1 game, I might buy for 50 and sell it for 150, 170. I think I did that recently with a game, Legend of Dragoon. Um, so yeah, it highly depends. I'm not making, sometimes when I go to the car boots, I'm buying stuff for a quid and just making 12 quid. 15 quid on the game, maybe 40 quid, I don't know. Obviously, I'll do that, but when I'm buying normally from people, it's against the CX market. So, D Kicks asks With your games, what you sell at a low price, are you sending them second class or another way? I used to send everything Royal Mail second class um, with a business account and personal mail. Um, personal, personal mail is just the price they give to everyone with the online prices. Always pay for Royal Mail if you're using Royal Mail through online. Don't go into a post office because some services, post office, adds on an additional cost, which is not worth it. Um, even if you have to go in with a QR code and they print off the label for you, always do that. Never buy in post office. Um, but now, after, because I'm with the Roma Business Track 48, I get a massive discount. Um, I can't remember what the price is for Track 48 for everyone else's for normal price. I'll flash it up here. Um, for the large item, small parcel. But for me, because I send over 10,000 items per year, I get a special discount with their business account. So my large letter costs £2.30, which is about the same price as a second class large letter, up to 750 grams. And then my parcel, it doesn't matter, it can go up to the medium parcel size, it doesn't matter about the small parcel, up to 2 kilograms. Um, it is £3 flat, and that's VAT included. Um, VAT excluded, obviously, take twenty percent off that, but VAT included, which I obviously work at. I, I'm, I'm VAT registered, but I still price everything across VAT because you've still got to. It's three pound, which is cheaper than second class, and that's track forty eight, and everything everything goes there, no matter what I send, just just for ease of packing. I don't have to choose the courier, and the the customer appreciates it because everything's completely tracked. Next question: the Jaro reseller. Great start, chat. Just sub looking to get this video. Please don't, don't see any eBay link on your YouTube page. So, a lot of people ask this for my eBay. Now, if you're smart about it, you know what I sell, I show my sold, you can find my eBay, but I'm not specifically going to show you my eBay link because it might not, but I'm under the illusion, I don't know if it's an illusion, or, but I believe if someone goes onto your store looks at it, just browses, and does nothing with it, doesn't click on any of your items, or whatever. I feel that's negative for your store, so just for that sake, I'm not going to show it. If you see anything on my videos and you want to buy it, contact me through Instagram, through YouTube, whatever. My Instagram's in the... Thanks, dog. Um, my Instagram's in my description. If you want to buy it, I'll obviously give you a big discount compared to what my eBay listed prices. Um, but, yeah. I'm not going to show my eBay link on publicly. Bolo Reselling asks, what do you do with fodder titles? I'll show you. One minute. So, as you probably saw in the video where I was going through Ricky resells, so there's a lot of stuff that wasn't worth it that I didn't even bother showing you. I still pay money for that, very little, pennies. Um, but what I do with them is I put them to a shelf a little bit here, just behind here, you want to see it's just a view, and just have all the games with a certain system stacked up high. And what I do with my consoles, I put five games per console, completely random. The buyer doesn't get to choose, I don't get to choose, I just pack them up. I don't even know what's in here, what games are in here. I know it's a Wii console, but I don't know what games are in there. And I have a same listing, so I have like 20 sold on the same listing. 
um, saying they get five random games and they get whatever goes up. That's where my border titles go. So that's that. Baba Yarrow asks, can I ask where you buy your boxes from? So, I'll also include bubble mailers and that type of stuff, but bubble mailers, straight from eBay. I'll put a link below. I don't get it. I, I, won't, I won't put an affiliate link or anything. It's just a straight eBay link. I buy straight off eBay off the person. So that's normal bubble mailers, small ones, and double ones. This is another tip. I, um, you've seen probably in my solds, I sell games in bundles of two if they're both not worth it or one's not worth it and it can increase the price. So say Bioshock 1 and 2, neither one you can sell on your own for a lot of profit. If I sell both together, send it one of these, still get the large letter price, and they fly out. I get so many sales per day going like that and I've only recently done it in the past year or so and it's working really well for me. Next one. Boxes. That's a different story. I would say it's not a use case for everyone. Um, but if you're not buying a lot, say under, I don't know, 200, 300 bucks at a time, go through eBay, find the cheapest person there. As long as you're happy with them, get good reviews. There's lots of amazing companies. But I go through Kite Packaging. Please sponsor me, Kite. Um, let's see, Kite. Um, I'll put a link for them below. But they, if you're not buying a lot, don't go to them because the prices are frankly ridiculous. Um, but if you buy like a thousand, like I buy a thousand of these at a time. These are nine by six by four inches, eight by six by four inches on from eBay. I prefer that, but they don't do this. They do nine by six, which is weird. Um, but they work out substantially cheaper than anywhere else. And because I'm in a warehouse, I plan to buy more at a time, like I plan to buy a pallet of boxes at a time. I would do that with bubble mailers, but I find they're cheaper on eBay than Kite. I don't know why, but um, yeah, so I buy 9x6x4, I buy my large letter boxes from them, um, and I also stock commonly. 12x9x4. I've not bought from Kite yet because I don't use them as much and I bought a massive order last time. So once they run out, I will go to Kite with them. Other than that, I use these. Now you can't get these anymore, so I can't I can't really show you, but they're a nice like square size box. You can get them, but you need to sign up for a business account with UPS and I could do it, but I've not had the hassle of doing it. But they give you these for free. So they're the ones I use a lot. Obviously, I don't know if you can see back there, I just hoard other size boxes and if they're really big, sometimes I'll use them. If not, and I need to scrap cardboard, I'll rip them up and just do that. So that's that answer question. That's that question answered. Next question. Dog's beautiful, thank you. Um, do you get good discounts? I think that's referring to the Royal Mail. Um, answer that. Where do you get your clear bags from video games? from Maddie Grace. Let me get them for you. Referring to these. So these are um, just a plastic protector case for games. Um, I, just, I just find them, they're a bit of a presentation piece for customers. Uh, also that, and because I'm in the dusty warehouse and dust can get flung up from work, it's nice to protect the games inside the boxes, just so when the customer buys it, they receive exactly what was in the pictures and not some dust on it. Um, I buy these off eBay, link down in the description where I buy it from. I'll also, also next to that link, I'll put um, what size these are because they're at a variety of sizes. Um, but these fit nicely. They're just a bit bigger than a DVD size case but I like to have that extra wiggle room just in case you get like a steel book with an extra slip on it just to fit those stuff on the inside of it. So that's those. Lime61, we're good to see how you started, what sourcing these items is like, how much research are you doing, knowing that a game will make profit. So, I think I said on my first video, I started about five years ago, I can't remember the exact date, but I know I started just before my daughter was born and she was born 
June 2019. Um, so just before that, a few months before that, I think. So I'm coming up to five years. Um, I did this purely just to get out of normal work. And some people do it for a lifestyle choice. I did it for a money choice. Um, I want to build a bigger business as I can and I could do it while looking after my daughter while she was growing up so I get to spend more time with her. Um, so I, I suppose I did kind of do it in a lifestyle choice but I'm making more money and I get to spend time with my daughter so it's great. <laughs> it's win-win. Um, what sorts of these items is like, it's very hard if you want to scale my size. If you want to do it as a side hustle, it's very easy. You could go to a car boot, it's going to be competitive to car boot but if you know what you're looking for, you can find some stuff mm -hmm. and it can make some nice money, some nice side money. Mm -hmm. Obviously watch out for the HMRC side hustle tax. Um, but to do it my scale, you need contacts, you need to do every single avenue if you want to niche out into it. There's lots of niches that, like clothing, it's a very easy niche to go into. I don't, I'm not saying easy, easy, but it's easier than this because there's so much clothing out there. You can go to a charity shop. Yes, it's priced up, but if you're working on the margins I am, I'm sure you can find loads. I know I've been out with Rummies Round and that, and he just finds boatloads and boatloads of clothing. And like I said, you go to a charity shop, how much clothing is there compared to how many games there are? You might find a FIFA or something. There's so many more avenues for clothing than gaming, so you need to like have every single available option. Facebook, Vinted, all the other buying sites, auctions, car boot contact people who come to you, which I get the contacts from doing all the previous things and providing a good price which so they want to come to me. How much research are you doing knowing that a game will make profit? I've been doing this for five years like I said so I've got a pretty good idea of it, it just comes with experience but also if I'm unsure quickly or you know not even when I'm unsure like if I'm pricing up a big collection even if I know the price of it I want to pay the person fairly and competitively against CEX so I'll price it, even though I know I'm about paying, I want to make sure it's accurate, dead accurate for them, so then they know they're getting a fair deal. But if I'm at car boot weather, if it, I think I said this previous video as well, if it's three, two or one pounds, I kind of know the buy cost and what I want to expect in for an item, and I kind of know those values of games. But anything where I'm paying four or five higher, like I've paid 20 pounds for a game at the car boot, plenty of times. Um, I want to scan those into CEX and just make sure that I'm doing a good job and as long as it's within those metrics I know I'm making a profit no matter what. If it's a slow turnover or a quick turnover game, CEX will tell you. Possible you do a video of what games to look out for when sourcing, like games which have a decent resale value. That would just be a hard video to make because there's thousands and thousands of games Obviously, watch my sold videos, that would give you a good idea, um, whenever I do a sold video, of what games I'm always showing about. That's a question I need to ask you. Do you like the format of me just showing the high value stuff, or would you like me somehow to show you everything, um, all the values? Let me know. But yeah, it'd be really hard, just watch my sold videos. That's all the questions I've got for today. Um, I think from now on, if you have any questions, put them in, and maybe once a week, I don't know, once a month or something, I'll fly through the questions I haven't answered before, any questions I'll answer before, I'll direct them back to this video. Also, like to mention, previous video, I did mention in a previous clip, but obviously I'm not using those clips, rolling those back up and running, absolutely ridiculous. Issued on, issue on Friday, took them to the Wednesday afterwards to resolve, even though I resolved the issue on Friday and it was the systems trying to update to Wednesday for them to resolve it, which I find ridiculous, but such is life, um, it's all resolved now, so I'm back in business with Royal Mail. Um, but yeah, hope you all have a good day, been a bit of a long video, but I hope it helps a lot of people. I'll see you in the next one. So, I buy 9 by 6 by 4 I buy my large letterboxes from them.